fucking. Okay, so this is him right here. It's crazy to think that just five minutes, five minutes ago, you was walking around, cooling around the mall. Cool and chilling around the mall. Next thing you know, you're not even on this earth no more. Okay, squad, today, 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 we have a crazy reaction. I don't know if you guys seen the viral video. Boy, I seen it first from TikTok, and that's what made me go ahead and do the full reaction because I knew it would be out by now. And then it's literally three o'clock in the morning, and then I stumbled across this video of the dude kind of explaining everything instead of just like the body cam footage. So we can actually go along with it because this is crazy. This is a crazy video, bro, and it's actually pretty sad, bro. Let me know what y'all think about this down below. Let's go ahead and get to this reaction. Prior to 7 p.m. on the 28th of May 2020. By, by the way, shout out 8, man, because I'm watching this video right now. Shout out to 8. 19 year old Sebastian Sopalevda Roman had appeared to have been intoxicated whilst within the Neiman Marcus shopping mall in Orlando, Florida. 19. So he was 19, you know, so he was drinking a little bit, sipping, cooling around the mall, which a lot of people do that, but. I think that he was, let's just get into it. Let's just see how he was actually walking around. Two issues for anyone who isn't aware. The legal drinking age in Florida is 21, and it's illegal to be intoxicated in a public space. So when an officer from the Orlando Police Department crossed paths with Sebastian, it wasn't crazy, looking too bro. good for him. There isn't too much context leading up to the initial detainment. We don't have too many reports to go off. But the conversation, which will be played in just a moment, shows that Sebastian had allegedly been approaching. Okay, so. Oh, this is him right here. It's crazy to think that just five minutes, five minutes ago, you was walking around, cooling around the mall, cooling, chilling around the mall. Next thing you know, you're not even on this earth no more. That just goes to show you, man, your life can be taken instantly. Anything can happen without you even knowing. Look, he's cooling at the mall right now. Doesn't even know what's about to happen in the next 10 to 20 minutes females while drunk the officer believes they weren't adults though they were minors and the crazy part is this all started with because they think that you know he's an older guy approaching like younger women also i did see that because he had tattoos the guy thought he was way older and the girls looked way younger so they thought that he was way older than what he looked like and just think is there a motherfucking moth in here? And just think that all this happened. All this happened because he was in the mall trying to raise up some, talk to some shorties. And nowadays, now generation, you don't even, you can't even tell anymore. So look, brother, just think. Right now, he cool. He don't even know that right now in 20, 10 minutes, he's not even on this earth no more. Yo, Atlanta police, stop, stop, because you have an open container of alcohol in public, you can't have it. Now, okay, first of all, you can definitely tell, okay, okay, let's, let's see what's, let's just see. An open container of alcohol. Give me your alcohol. So right off rip, we already know there's something else in there. The fact that he pulled that off the right side and that bowl just, you know, out the bag is still sticking out. Yeah. Yeah. Give me your ID. And then behind that fat ass vodka bottle, walking around with that, you could at least went to the store, went to McDonald's, got a cup, put in a cup, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Your ID. I don't have it on me. Where's your ID? I left it at home. How old are you? I'm not 21. Yeah. Right. I can have you arrested right now. I should arrest this. But as you can see, he's being respectful. You know what I'm saying? He's not trying to do the most. He's answering all the questions like he should. Everything's going perfectly fine. See, these cops be getting out of hand because they feel like they have too much control because they're a cop. How old are you? You're 19? Yes, sir. All right. Step over here. You ever been issued a Florida ID? Yes, sir. What do you do for work? I work at a warehouse. You spill my coffee. You don't know me now. My bad. Just think he's just laughing and talking, chilling right now. And just think, in a little bit, he won't even be here, bro. That's crazy. But well, now, I mean... Legal, okay? I'm not under arrest, am I? No, you're being detained. Does that mean cuffs? No. All right, so as you can see, bro, as you can see, bro. Bro's cooling right now. You don't even really know what's about to happen. What's your, uh, social? He don't even have, like, a lot... 
they made it seem okay because first of all they said that they made it seem like he had a whole bunch of like tats bro got one two three yeah you could definitely tell this is someone that just is around that age like 18 19 20 because this is when people would start really getting tats like this now if he had a full sleeve then i could see why you could say a little bit older but if you think he's old, he don't even look like he what are you doing at the mall i'm just walking around trying to shop have a good time while i'm on the weekend you know yes honest mistake so a nice little weekend oh, let me keep going let me keep going i understand okay you're not trying to pick up anybody no sir okay. i mean women yeah just having a good time you think it's time. you think it's appropriate to walk up to a group of young girls and ask their ages right away I was just trying to verify their age before I, you know, before I... I mean, I looked at them, you know, think they were, they were definitely minors. I didn't intend to... Right. You don't look like a minor. Yeah. Like, okay, so see, as you can see, they're making it seem like, I don't know, I need to see, like, the group of girls, like, kind of to see, to see, like, how really old they really look. Because, like I said, nowadays, you just never know. You can see, the boy, he's being respectful and all that. Got a sleeve of tattoos. Yeah. That tells me you're at least above eight. A sleeve of yeah. tattoos. That's my mistake. I was trying to verify you their age before weird? I approached them. Yeah, yeah. I understand. I was just trying to verify their age before I approached them. Yeah. That's how you approach women nowadays? You just go to them and ask them how old they are? Straight yeah, up? Yeah, so I don't have to, you know, I don't want to be... I see where he's coming from, though. I don't blame him. You know, so I, you know, I don't blame him. But then again, the only type of females that are actually in groups... At malls, like, like at a mall, and there are girls and groups. Normally, like, the it's like one or two. I don't know. Then again, then again, I don't even know. Nah, most of the time, when it's a group of girls at the mall, they're usually in high school, probably still, most likely. But he's being honest, though. You know what I'm saying? At least he asked to see how old they were. And then it's different if he kept going. He probably asked the age and just left. So I don't... I don't even see what kind of really wrong with that. If y'all think something's wrong with it, let me know. Oscar three fifty six on the teletype. Okay, everybody's just looking. That's crazy, bro. Everybody that's looking at him right now doesn't even know. In about 10, 20 minutes, he's not even on this earth no more. All because of this right here. This was his last, this is literally his last seat. Yeah, yeah, not eat. Life is tough, but not everything easy for me. Cop over asking all these questions like. See? I suggest you don't approach women. Everything cool. Everything cool right now. So what led up to the point where it's at, there was a, a chase. There was a chase, a shootout running across. The, how how did it get to, let's see. Amanda. Yes, sir. Or you can approach women however you want. Yeah. Children, that's weird. And that's when I got an issue with it. Okay. You understand that? Understand. Those were children. But bro looked young too in the face, like a real spill, if we're being honest. So let's skip, let's skip a little bit, let's see. Alright, okay, so here. So he's letting him, okay, so the cop, okay, okay, so far, letting him off with a warning. I mean, that's, that boy got blessed right here. You know what I'm saying? No cap. He's 19 with that, with that big ass bottle too. You know what I'm saying? So. He doesn't even know what's the sad part is. He doesn't even know if this is his last like minutes here. Where you parked at? 
I came here through Uber. Through Uber? Yes. 171 So, bro, and then it's like, it's different also if he was driving to Uber there. He's just cooling around the mall, bro. This is. What was the letter? How are you going to get home? Uber, back. Where you live? I live in near the McCoy area on the east side. You know where that is? Uber from there over here? Yes. I'm just trying to find a new mall, you know? 97 Bravo, Lima, Mike Echo. Where'd you get the alcohol from? Me? From a friend. We were fucking yesterday. Okay, now bro's talking a little too much, you know what I'm saying? To say a friend. And he said we were clubbing yesterday and that now that makes the officer think, okay, so you out here probably trying to get a lot of you know what I'm saying? I just would have said just a friend. That's it. That's over twenty one, obviously. All right, man, this is what I'm going to suggest. I'm going to suggest you leave them all, okay? Yeah, I'll leave that them way all. we don't get any more issues about you. Yeah. You don't get in any trouble. You're already intoxicated. You're out here. You're doing yeah. dumb things, approaching young women, Yeah. okay, or young girls. That's an exit, right? There's an exit over there. There's an exit over here. Okay. So you choose. Yep. Sebastian seemed tense throughout the ordeal, but there's no evidence to Let's suggest listen. he had a criminal record and didn't have any outstanding warrants. So he was good Maybe to go. then he was just nervous as he was intoxicated by his own admission and had never That's had a prior encounter though, with bruh. police. Or was there something he was hiding? Now, we can obviously tell. When he took that out the bat, you could tell there was something else in there. Cop didn't even say anything about that, didn't notice that. So let's see, like I said, how it led to that point. Uh, they're walking out the mall. Damn, that fat ass mall. All right, here they go. They're walking outside. All right, All right so here they go. Hey, Sebastian, before you go, you're free to leave and everything. Do you have anything on you that would, uh, drugs, guns, bombs, anything like that? No, sir. Okay. I, I earlier, though. So you have some meat on you? No, not anymore. Okay. Do you mind if I conduct a search of your person real quick? Wait, wait, wait. So the cop just said that you're free, you're good to go to leave, but why are you now asking what else is in the bag? Just let him go now. You know, say so he's leaving the mall, no issues, he ain't causing no scenes. What is. I just want to see how. I don't think you can. I'm asking. No, no. What do you have inside your bag? Just some stuff that I need to get home. Okay. Do you mind showing me? No, I don't have to. Okay. Thank you, though. Nope. Next time I see you here, okay. I, I, I see it. It's a jar, and it's got a little bit of weed in it. Okay. You, you think I I'm done? I just finished it. Okay. Uh, with the, Is I'm that what's there. inside your bag? So you can tell that he's intoxicated because like the, the, the answers he's giving. Damn, just because the alcohol. The alcohol made him act this way, bro. And alcohol, like I said, I'm, I, you know, with friends here and there, alcohol won't make you and not like act like this. It just won't make you function all the way, you know what I'm saying? So as you can tell, he's nervous as hell. The cop keep asking questions. Yeah, that's it. Just the weed? Yeah. Okay, take off your bag. Don't resist. You're going to make it a lot worse than you need to. Take off your bag. Sir. Okay, why is the cop now asking? See, bro. Oh, my gosh. Sir, please. Don't make this worse. Wait, what the get, hell? Get out of here. Get out of here. After the officer asked, what? Oh my gosh, bro. And it honestly, that's straight on the alcohol that made him act like that. If I'm being completely honest, bro. And that's tough. Why? I thought bro would just go just run and dip. Why he just keep doing that? That would have been better than because once you shoot at the cop now, it's it's now he's calling all types of units. Asks to check what's in his bag. Sebastian is hesitant to give in. And that's because, well, if you didn't guess by now, he had a firearm in his bag. Yeah, because it wasn't a jar of weed. It was a, hold on. Was stolen. And although he ran from the scene, initially, it looks as if the officer doesn't give chase. Out of nowhere, though, Sebastian produces that stolen firearm and fires what? it towards the officer. The officer wouldn't return fire because he said that he was concerned about the safety of the public. He didn't want to hit anyone. There were too many people around. So instead, he decided what? to give chase. Hold on. So, bro, then shot in front of the mall in the public at the cop towards the window so lucky nobody was coming on the way out or that was in the range of right there 
Like he was running away, opening the bag. I just would have just took off. Then again, they, I guess they already have your name and stuff like that. But they went out like they would have did all that extra stuff to come find you unless they would have had a reason to. But now they, oh man. Signal 43. Shot twice. So look at this. Okay, now it's getting. Signal 43. Signal 43. Follow Millennia. White male. White Hispanic male running. He's going towards Millennia Boulevard. He's got a gun. He's just shot at me. Oh, so it's a real. Now it went from chilling on the Signal talking, 43. laughing with each other, to now shooting. Oh my. Now he's getting. Small Millennia. He's running. He's going towards. He's going towards Millennia Convoy. Hotel Mike. White shirt, blue jeans, he got a black hand, uh, bag, he pulled out black signal zero. This is tough. That boy did the dash though, where's he at? Oh. That boy is gone though, for real. Damn, I nigga got him quick though, what the, that boy got him quick. It's not even funny actually, I don't even know what I mean. Okay, so they lost him. He just crossed Conroy right now. Okay, he's no, he's still somewhere around here. Damn, I'm he's gone though somewhere. for real though. What oh, boy did the dash? Stop, stop, go! Oh, I got a whistle? What the hell? They just shot at me. Yo! He must have just crossed somewhere around here. He's a hotel Mike, black hair, no facial hair, tattoos, white. He's got tattoos all on his right arm. I mean, if they haven't got him by now, where? Don't tell me bro stopped or something, because how did they still? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Damn. Oh, he's shooting. There's more shots going off. What? This is ins what? So they caught up to him. Don't tell me that's it right there. Keep talking to us. We're exchanging gunfire. Y'all's guarding. Wait, hold on. Why the guy just talking about keep talking to us? Well, he's in a full chase right now. What? I don't understand. Oh my gosh, so that's the Olive Garden Sebastian now, Sebastian had fled to the Olive oh, Garden the Italian restaurant located across the road. Damn, he ran all the way from here to here. Bro fell right here. Cops came from here. So how did you get stopped over here is my question. Like, I would have just kept, you feel me? That's what I was, something. Road from the mall, and by now more units had been called to the scene. Oh. They arrived within moments. As the cruiser was approaching, Sebastian would open fire, and a shootout would begin. Oh, okay, so now we got the in the car angle. Oh Get my, chase. this is intense, bro. What? Get I gotta see how this. Hold on, bro. We gotta see how this plays out. Well, we know how it plays out, but how did it really play out? And just think, this all led up. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, okay, so this is what he was going at. Okay, uh, past the light right here. Okay, okay. Now he's talking to the dude that was chasing him. What's he look like? He's a hotel Mike. Black hair. No face hair. Tattoos. What is a hotel Mike? What does that mean? What does that what even mean? What color is his shirt? White. White. He's got tattoos. He's got tattoos. All on his right arm. Hey, you see a guy running? Where are you? I'm at Conway Water Garden. So how did he get caught? Oh.
What? Jesus Tell us. Christ. Hey! Get down! Everybody get down! Get down! Get down! Everybody get back! Get back! It's over there! Behind the white SUV! White SUV! Oh, so another cop right there. There's another the cop on the left. So they got him over here. Damn, one, two, three. Bro, right here. Move up, move up. Move up. He's down. Wow. And wow. And that they're looking, they're all looking. You see how the gun, like, he, you see how he's just like that, bro, right here. He, he knows, bro's, bro's done, though. But wait, let's keep going, though. There's more to the story, though. Oh, the bullets went through the, the car. Oh, shit. One, two. Damn, bro is literally, bro is literally on the other side of that car just ten minutes ago. Just ten minutes ago, bro was just breathing, walking around the mall like nothing. You know what I'm saying? And now, bro is no longer here. Oh, that's when that dude was talking about keep talking to us. Okay, I see what he's talking about. Oh, another bullet went through this one right here. Check my guy. Make sure they hit nobody, guys. Check that way. Make sure. The, hey, check the restaurant. The bullets went in the window, guys. Damn, the bullets went in the windows. Oh, yeah, that all busted out. Come on. Wow, bro, this is actually sad. Actually, you're all right. I'm good, man. Hey, yeah, great. You can you get another channel for the traffic? Did you say that too? I shot him. Okay. Wait, wait, who's that? Still out? Yeah. Decock it. Decock. So yeah, bro was bro has been over here. Or he came from around this way. All right. You okay? Yeah. <sighs> Can we get wow. tape? Start taping it around? Yeah, can we start getting tape? Tape meaning as in, you know what happened. Erica, you got him? I got him. Hey. You got water, you got a drink? Yeah, I got a drink. Control 15, control 14. So wait, wait, I want to hear. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. So did he... How many shots? I want to see. Let's see how many shots they put into him. That's the reality. Got heard a lot of shots oh, yeah. go off. This is me. You shot at me? So uh, honestly the the reason let's see what happened. The officer that engaged in the shootout had received a minor injury, but Sebastian would go on to die after this incident. So he did. But not due to the officer shooting at him, rather, he took his own life. The Cause see, I was wondering, I was like, cause whoever must have got him must have been really close. So turns to find out. 
bro, after all that, did that. And it's crazy to think, just looking at this time span of the video, it's 17 minutes long, but just uh, that whole altercation that just happened, what, about 10, 20 minutes? How he was just here breathing, living, and then he went into, hey, man, that alcohol, bro, let me tell y'all this now. Do not, if you're a person that, I can't tell you what to do. You know what I'm saying? But videos like this can kind of show you why not to do it if you're a person that even can't control it or acts out of character. And you can't say, oh, well, it never makes me act out of character. That's a lie because the reason why people take that is because, like, you start feeling lit. You start feeling, you know what I'm saying? You start, you know? Some people start getting active, wanting to fight. It just makes them act a different way. So I want to tell you all this now. If I was you... Honestly, stay stay away from the drugs and alcohol. You really don't even need it. You didn't come out the womb, you know what I'm saying, doing it. So you don't you don't need it. You didn't do it. If you are a person now that does it, like I said, I ain't judging. I'm not judging at all. Cause my myself, you know, I be, you know, sometimes on the weekends when I go out, you know what I'm saying? But you you don't really need it at all. All all it does is hold you back anyway. And then your body's gonna get used to always having it. And that's why people become like alcoholics. And then you get stuck in the in the loop of everything else. So look, man, just be safe out there, man. And also just hang around the right people. You know what I'm saying? He was hanging around someone that was older that obviously influenced him to, you know, well, you can get it. Well, I might as well get some since I'm with you. Hang out with the right people, man. Make the right decisions.